hi my name is Kate and welcome back to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is springtime and I couldn't be more excited. I am not a cold weather person. Never have been, never will be. Yes, I know I have two sled dogs who, by the way, like to hang out when I'm filming. So if you can see them down here, that is why. But as soon as spring comes, I want to get all of that winter stagnation out of my house. So I have about five tips today to help you detox your house and naturally get yourself ready for spring. Because so often we think about detoxing our bodies, we drink green juices, we take detox tea when we're feeling bogged down, but we don't really realize that the energy in our house that's been stagnant all winter is going to weigh on us as well. That energy just feels really heavy, a little bit claustrophobic, you just want to Get it out of the house so you can really wake up your body for spring, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the warmth, enjoy all of the new plants. I cannot wait to garden with veggies. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So my first tip is open your windows. Really, really, really simple. However, because our windows have been closed and shut off and we've had recirculated air from the heating unit all winter, we have so much built up dust, dander, dog fur, all of that stuck in our house. And if you just open all of the windows in your house, if you can open the doors too on a gorgeous day and just let everything air out. That fresh air from outside is going to just clear out some of that base energy that's just kind of making your vibration super low. So simple. Number two, this is one that I love and do every single day, even if I'm not detoxing. This is my diffuser. Um, this one's from Young Living, but there are so many essential oil diffusers around. You can find whichever one you like. Uh, my mom started using Young Living years and years ago, and I just kind of caught on to there. I love lots and lots of different brands of essential oils, so I have a bunch of different ones, but this diffuser, which is super simple and it came with my starter pack. But with this diffuser, you add, oh, I've still got water in here from last night. But you add water in and then three to five drops of your favorite essential oils. And that just makes the steam come out throughout the day and diffuses your essential oils throughout your house. The essential oils that I recommend for detoxing your house, there are a couple of the Young Living ones. Um, the reason why I use these is because I really, really enjoy the blends of oils that they have. It's a lot less inexpensive to buy the blends than buy like the nine different oils and make your own. Probably my favorite essential oil from Young Living of all times is Thieves. This is incredibly purifying. It's actually named Thieves because back during the Black Death, the grave robbers would put this under their nose and all around and to help them, one, not smell anything awful, and two, prevent them from getting sick. So if I am getting sick, this is one of the things that I do diffuse in the air, but it's really good for purifying as well. And then this one is Purification. Kind of goes without saying, purifying the air around. And I have two other ones if you're not going to go for a blend. This is a straight up clove essential oil, so one of the ingredients in that Thieve essential oil. This one is from a Pocket Theory Tinctura, which is down here on 6th Ave in Denver. It's all handmade. It is... I can't quite describe the energy in that place. It's just you go in and you feel like you got a wonderful big psychic hug. It just makes you very happy. But this is really great for purifying the air as well. And my last option, if you don't have handmade oils around or you don't want to get your hands on some of those Young Living oils, this is a sage. So sage is also really good for purifying. And this one is from Now. You can get Now at Whole Foods. You can get them at Natural Grocer. You can probably find them on Amazon as well. I'll check into that. If so, I'll put a link in the description below. But there are so many different ways to get your hands on essential oils that I absolutely recommend them. And I do know there's a very similar um, diffuser that you can to this one that you can get at Natural Grocer as well. So tip three is another really simple one that sometimes we forget to do. But after sleeping in our very large comforters, I have a down one that makes me very happy because I'm a very cold person. And 
because they've been inside and not aired out for such a long time, take them outside, beat the crap out of them to get the dust out, and then let them purify in the sunlight. It is crazy what sunlight can do when it comes to bacteria and stuff like that. So just let your sheets, your pillows, your comforters, maybe some of the cushions off of your couch outside, lay them out, let them soak up the sun, and make sure to get them in before it rains. Next, I have an abalone shell. You don't need one of these, but they're nice to have and traditional, as well as a sage smudge stick. So mine is giant. You can get smaller ones all over the place. You can find them all, all over the place online. I know you can get them at Whole Foods as well if your Whole Foods carries them, as well as any herb kind of alternative medicine shop as well. So sage, just like this sage essential oil, it is meant for getting bad energy out of your house. So I know for a lot of people that burning sage sounds like heebie-jeebies, um, not real, all of that. However, there are so many studies that have been showing that the actual sage smoke removes bacteria from your air and keeps it away. The way I use my smudge stick is that I will take it around to each corner. You just let, uh, light it on fire and then blow it out and just let that smoke kind of permeate your apartment. And once you're finished, go ahead and snuff it out in your abalone shell. So the last tip, number five, is all about spring cleaning. And yes, some of us love spring cleaning and some of us hate it. I'm one of the lovers, very much so. I always recommend going through things like your closet, your wardrobe, your kitchen, and just purging stuff that no longer serves you. So that sweater from a boyfriend you no longer wear because it makes you think of it, donate it. Somebody else will love it and you won't have to keep that energy in your house. So just remove things because everything we own has its very own energy. And if we look at it and think that it has a neg negative energy or a negative connotation in our head, donate it. It will free up space for you to live more fully in your own home and, you know, Decluttering is always a wonderful feeling. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe below. And if you do have different ways that you like to detox your home for spring, let me know. I'm all about the detox. And if you guys have something that I haven't heard of, I want to know so I can try it out as well. So let me know down in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful spring and a great rest of your day, evening, night, wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello. What are you doing? Yeah, we need to be comfortable with everything that they might see. So it's um, treating them to be around wheelchairs, wagons, um, jewelry.